Yo, Harley Quinn is fucking crazy. I like baseball bats, explosives, dead superheroes, things that go kablooey, and a great British bake off. When I first watched this trailer, while being a complete nerd watching the DC fandom live stream, more static shock is coming. Let's get it. I couldn't help but wonder why do a Suicide Squad game, especially since the movie was. Mm, was not hitting. It then became even more confusing when we find out that it is a continuation of the Arkham story or that at the very least they're related. Obviously it's brought to you by the team that created Arkham Asylum, Arkham City and Arkham Knight and in fact this is a continuation of the Arkham verse. So, so why didn't you give us another Batman you damn it? But then you get to this part. I never, yes, never, miss. Yes, never miss. Yeah yeah we bloody know you never shut up about it. And you're like, I right, at least the writing is decent, or at the very least has potential, and the banter between squad members could be entertaining. Unlike Kratos and Loki's before Mimir showed up. They caught you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. I was ready for them this time. I saw. The tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Is that it? Then you get to this part, and although it's just a cinematic trailer, the fighting looked pretty cool and made me be like, damn, if they have team moves, this could be pretty fire. Then you get to the part with Superman, and you look at the squad, and you're like, you're dead. But then it cuts to Superman holding up a pilot of a helicopter that, that you assume was shot down by the Suicide Squad, but upon closer look, you realize that that wasn't the Suicide Squad who shot that helicopter down. Then it cuts to the pilot who seems to be a little bit scared and my first thought process upon looking at this was, well don't be a bitch, it's Superman, he saved you already. But then Superman kills the pilot by melting his face with heat vision and you see Superman's face and you're like, uh, oh shit, Superman looks kinda psychotic. Here's the thing about comic books. There's a ton of cross universes and dimensions and times where good guys turn into bad guys because it's an alternate universe. Understand that even now in DC Comics, there's versions of evil Batman and one that is basically the Joker version of Batman. I know, I know. Y'all are like, so you mean Batman? Because they were always each other's parallel except one's good and one's bad? No. I mean, you take the Batman you know and the craziest version of the Joker, put them together and you get the laughing Batman. This one, right here. He's not the only one. And thanks to Flash never learning not to fuck with the Speed Force, we get Flashpoint, where all the heroes are evil. The point is, Superman himself has a lot of evil versions. Bizarro, Superboy Prime, Ultraman, Lord Superman, Injustice Superman, or the stupid fucking Clown Prince of Crime. <laughs> laughing gassed him and caused him to kill his wife and child. It's definitely his fault, but seriously though. How crazy would that be if that was the plot twist in the game? That this is actually an Injustice universe or an alternate one where he needed villains to help. Y'all know Rocksteady storytelling is nice and they know how to incorporate plot twists. Don't sleep. Anyways, the point is we love Batman villains for the same reasons we love Batman. They're not actually super. Well, not most of them, which in turn causes them to be relatable. So between the plot twist, it being developed by Rocksteady and Outcast means it's worth checking out. So, figure out who we're killing yet? But seriously though, compared to this guy, Harley Quinn's completely sane.